Female custodians. We explained why everyone's talking about Henry Cavill's favorite Warhammer 40k army. I can feel your anger. This weekend, the discourse turned towards Warhammer 40k. After it came out, the Games Workshop had explicitly stated that members of the elite Adeptus Custodes were female. The reveal came in a short story that will appear in the upcoming codex for the Adeptus Custodes, focused on a female custodian named Calides Tarovalia Kesh, who uses female pronouns. So why are people up in arms about female custodians and does it really matter? We break down everything in this video, but first be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons so you can stay up to date on all the latest and greatest in tabletop news. Come on, push the button! Now, first and foremost, if you're unfamiliar with the lore of Warhammer 40k, the Adeptes Custodes are the personal bodyguards of the Emperor of Mankind and are basically the most powerful force in the Imperium of Mankind. They're described as being to the Space Marines what Space Marines are to average people. So basically, even bigger, badder, and more powerful genetically modified superhumans. They also happen to be Henry Cavill's favorite army for those keeping track at home. Uh, regardless, it's still Custodes. Now, the Adeptus Custodes have been part of Warhammer 40k lore for a very, very long time. Actually, they appear in the very first Rogue Trader rulebook, and that's basically the original Warhammer 40k rulebook. But they weren't a playable army until 7th edition, and they've typically been referred to as being male with one line in, I believe it's the 7th edition codex, mentioning that the Custodes were made up of the sons of noble Terran families. However, in the 2022 novel Echoes of Eternity, which is part of the Horus Heresy novel series, Sanguinus, who is one of the sons of the Emperor, explicitly mentions that the Custodians were made up of both men and women. But, not a ton of people read the Horus Heresy novels, and it's a lot easier to get upset about something that appears in the rulebook than something that appears in a throwaway line in a novel. Now, the Adeptes Custodes are granted their ability by being modified at a genetic level. They are literally taken as babies and modified through a series of secretive and arcane scientific procedures which are otherwise unknown to man. And there's nothing in the underlying lore that explicitly says that the Custodians need a Y chromosome to be Custodians. Just one throwaway line in one codex, then that's not even the most recent codex. Now keep in mind that only one in many thousands of normal everyday people might be even the least bit compatible with the basic steps needed to become a custodian, and not even all of those folks even qualify to become a custodian because there's many steps there. So eliminating 50% of the potential candidate pool seems a little bit silly from the Custodes perspective, especially given that the one time that they slipped up in their duties, uh, you know, the Emperor of Mankind became an undead being trapped inside the Golden Throne. So why are some people treating the inclusion of a female custodian like it's the end of the world? Well, honestly, it's because some people feel that it betrays the underlying lore. Now, that just seems a little bit disgenuous because Warhammer 40k changes its lore all the time. The core business model of Games Workshop is to introduce new units and factions, and the general rule of thumb is to either pretend that they've been around the whole time, aka retconning the lore, or to just say there's been some new development in the technology and a brand new unit comes out and gets sold as a result. Now, we will note that even though Games Workshop has, you know, quote unquote, changed the lore, we're not getting any female custodian miniatures. This is just a lore change. They're not coming out with any new female custodian miniatures. And, you know, the, the one, I guess, silly thing about all of this is that if you use the alternate head you know, sculpts in the custodians, you know, those are all dudes. Or at least they look like dudes. Who knows what sort of genetic manipulation goes into those people. Maybe they just come out looking like dudes when it's all said and done. Now... 
we will say that Warhammer has made clear which side they're standing on. The Warhammer account has explicitly said that there has always been female custodians since the earliest days of the faction, which we will note predates the Imperium of Mankind and even predates Space Marines since there were the 10,000 who accompanied the Emperor during his conquest of Terra. So the only question really is whether people are making a big deal of nothing or if it somehow impacts the enjoyment of anyone's game. So let us know where you fall in the comment section, and as always, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons.